Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalom Lawson. On tonight's bulletin, residents are up in arms with their council over high water bills. There's a cause for concern for Zimbabwean farmers. Wet nursing persists in Zimbabwe and women in Bulawayo are struggling to survive with high unemployment. Some Bulawayo residents who received shocking water bills of up to $10,000 per household are threatening to sue the city council who are also facing accusations of poor service delivery. Crispin Tavura gives us more. Bulawayo residents are up in arms against the council over high water bills and poor service delivery. ATV spoke to some of the residents who are bitter about the high water bills and are planning to take legal action against the council. Amanzi. Abantu sebezwile ukukhala bakhe sebathi ama penalty basifakela ama penalty angaqedakali angazwakaliyo you know with a shop i never read to all this i only looked at the bill so now i found out that they say penalty is 600 is, what is this penalty for city council vanofana ukudzikisa because once vanotshaira vacho ku city council vanohora 500 and something so kandofunga mari dzo dzidza vari kuti chiita dzo ku kuma bill ko dzo dzukenda kune vanhu vacho vari kuhoresha kuko kuno ve council during a meeting with prime minister morgan changirai recently residents poured their hearts out i am a bachelor i stay at a flat and i receive a, a, a bill of water 10000 dollars I nearly phoned Mr. Nkomen and said, can I hold the Chavez water to my house? <laughs> <laughs> How do you have such? We, we need to provide leadership. I, I, I must be very clear, and I'm not going to apologize, that the council that we've got it is the worst since independence. The Prime Minister urged residents to be careful about whom they select to represent them in council. You say this is the worst council uh, you have ever had. <laughs> it might be the worst council, but you elected it. You elected it. And I always think that the question of measurement is probably a subjective assessment. The mayor of Bulawayo expressed shock over the matter and asked the residents to bring their bills to his office for verification. Those bills, that's why I, 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 I mandated the council to say, let's have those bills. Reporting for ATV in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. With the growing issue of climate change, environmentalists are urging farmers in Zimbabwe to grow crops that can adapt to changing weather patterns in order to avert hunger. Jeffrey Moyo reports. Development experts are calling on farmers to grow crops that can adapt to the changing climatic conditions to avert hunger in the country. Speaking on the sidelines of a workshop on climate change hosted by Environment Africa Tuesday, the experts said crop yields are declining owing to changing rainfall patterns and persistent droughts. The main focus really for Zimbabwe or the main position is uh, on climate change adaptation because uh, we notice uh, uh, the impacts of climate change, uh, particularly on the communities, are quite high and significant. And so um, we need to have a system, a situation whereby uh, these communities are more are ready they are prepared for any eventualities in terms of uh, uh, climate change events. The experts said the agricultural sector has been worst affected by climate change. In agriculture, we are also tending to see some areas that were traditionally maize growing areas becoming unsuitable for maize growing areas. Now the only way we can respond to climate change is through mitigation or adaptation. Environment Africa country director said with the ever changing climatic conditions, rainfall patterns have also changed. If you look at uh, our rainfall patterns, uh, show some changes because of climate change. The onset of the rains, uh, the rains are coming late and uh, also you will find out that the dry spells they are becoming longer and also the rainfall intensity is becoming more sometimes you get a lot of i mean a heavy downpour um, and uh, it only happened for a day and then the other days are drier so this is having an impact even on agriculture and even on the way people are living Mawire said in the wake of changing rainfall patterns 
farmers have to adapt to the prevailing weather conditions. What farmers need to do now is that they need also to change the way they used to do things. They need to employ uh, water conservation techniques, especially during the dry spell periods. They also need to change uh, the time they used to plant their crops because, you know, the onsets of the rain um, have changed as well. The Environment Africa official aged farmers to grow crops that can adapt to the changing climate. They have to grow crops that can do in those short seasons because the seasons are becoming shorter. They also need to mobilize those traditional seed varieties which they have and use those. Reporting for ATV, I'm Jeffrey Moyo in Harare, Zimbabwe. Despite the Ministry of Health outlawing the traditional practice of wet nursing, some women are still breastfeeding the children of dead relatives, which is putting their health at risk. Mochaneta Chimuga reports. Bazireje utanu rakarambidza tsika yaitwa makare kuti kana amai vakashaya hamadzavo dzaikwanisa kuyamusa mwana wavo zvichiteverera kuparadzira kwa inoita zvirwere zvisinei vanhu vazhinji vachiri kuramba vachitevedza tsika iyi zvinova zvinoisa utano wavo parumana nzombe mumwe munhu andoziva akati mukomo wake washaya vaiyamusira vakanga vagosungurikira vana vana vamwe chete iri same age ndobva mukomo wacho washaya ndobva atotanga kuti tatike ofa kuyamusa chi ya msamano wa chumi. Vamwe vano tana ngura nife chinangu wa chitika imu kuyamura vana manenge vasara wachiri kuda kuyama. Zunenda ni ukama zupuwe mtoro. Zunopu wa ama mkoma mningina kana mai ya kubereka. Mwano wa chua anu temeru wa mshonga wano nzuruturura. Kana temeru wa mshonga yo mka kwa ozo kwa uya msamano. Shaka wane kwa shikari kutimamu ya mazimai alikura ramane utachua na uHIV. Aliku uchika kuyamu sava na vavo. Vajichika kutapurira vana chiruwele. Mata dizaka ituwa. Vane utachua na vaka yamu sava na vavo exclusively. Vasinga pichi mechini up to six months. Vana yu wawo vajinji wawo visa vabati dishi utachua na. Nino zungu wana wawo maybe one out of a hundred. Vanga sabati dishi utachua na. Asi vajinji wawo nga vati safe. Kozo hindi lamberi ni kutanga kupajume zwe kujika. After six months, but she could call you and you go young, sir. She As much as my machine, I know Chica. It's a young sister to save a chicka. I see my studies at all. I cannot go see any. Vam, we want to know Granish, of course, I came Kaka Wimza, Mora am I. A panachimachin, which no gonna could replace Mukako am I. No to Mukako am I, only which Kakosa could not decan on him, Nana, Nesera Raki. And now my wife and English Nadu Kuyanka. Mwayamisa, vanawa wano kuna kufezi, sera wawo ni shumwe shirwele, shakaita sema nyoka, kwashi, shikosoro, shungadai nshisinga wani kwe kana wachingi wachiyamisa mwana wawo. Goreri ino membero The World Breast Feeding Week, zaka hitu wa paspe dingi ndira rakana ngana ni kuyamisa wana mu Zimbabwe. Membero The Ruzi Uru, zino hitu wa nomusu wa wani kushika sefe nshikunguru Gorero Garoga. Ndini mtorwe na UATV, mchani taichimuka ndiri maharare. Zimbabwe. With unemployment in Zimbabwe estimated at over 60%, some women in Bulawayo are now surviving on selling wild fruits and a popular delicacy known as Amangimbi. Eunice Ferizai caught up with the women and gives us the following report. Some Bulawayo women are now resorting to selling wild fruits and the Mopani delicacy, popularly known as Amatsembi for survival in the wake of high unemployment. ATV recently visited a Godini marketplace along Lobengula Street where some of the traders are operating. So, I was in Amatsembi. 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 Another trader who spoke of camera said women bought the brunt of economic hardship since the need for them to take up various forms of trade to sustain their lives. The trader said wild fruits have micronutrients that are important to human health and not found in exotic fruits. <laughs>
one of the traders also explained the process of harvesting and drying amatsimbi, which they sell on the market. <laughs> Unsustainable harvesting and destruction of forests are threatening the survival of the Mopani delicacy. The livelihoods of women are also threatened unless something is done to manage the harvesting and conservation of Mopani forests. Reporting for ATV in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.